So just to see what we did last time and compare it to this time, let's go to the tab to the right, right click on it, duplicate it, and we're gonna go into our reports on the left hand side, close up the ham buggy, and then scroll on down. Let's say who owes you money, who owes you? Everybody owes me, everybody owes me stuff. I'm in the customer balance detail. Let's do the customer balance detail and then scroll up a bit. So last time you end, we ended up with these negative amounts because we have a payment that's not applied to an invoice. So from a financial statement reporting purpose, that's not quite right because we should have a positive liability and not a negative asset account for Eric Music. However, when I create a liability account, it doesn't tie from a bookkeeping standpoint as nicely to the subledger breaking out by customer. The accounts receivable is the account that's tied to the customers. That's why this works good logistically from a bookkeeping standpoint, if not exactly perfect from a financial statement standpoint. And we could do adjusting entries at the end of the period, month or year, in order to, to fix this periodically like we do with other adjusting entries if we wanted to. However, we might say, no, maybe I, I would like to record it in some way where this, this doesn't happen. I don't get this negative.